Right now, I am trying to actively master the art of making rice on the stove. Not in the rice maker, not in a pressure cooker, but on the stove. Because what that means is I'll have access at that point to make rice at will, <laughs> right? Oh, well, just get, a, just get a pressure cooker, LB. We don't have one anymore. Our, our pressure cooker is gone. And I'm not going to go out and buy a rice maker. I want to learn how to make it on the stove, okay? Yes, there's alternatives, but I want to learn how to make it on a stove. Simple as that. Now, also, while that's doing that, while it's doing its thing in there, while the water's boiling, I am going to continue watching Bleach. And I'm not talking about the cleaning product. I'm talking about the anime Bleach. Right now, I'm actually on episode 151. And it's so good. It is so good. A lot of people sleep on Bleach. A lot of people think it's it's not as good. They, they think it's not good just because it's a popular anime. If it's popular, right? Yes, it might be popular because it's just word of mouth or because it's trendy or whatever. But Bleach is one of those exceptions to the rule where maybe it's popular, I don't know, because it's good, okay? Bleach is incredibly good. I am in, I'm on episode 151. I have seen a lot of anime I watch a lot of anime, okay? And I understand that Bleach is a long anime. If, if I don't want to watch, if I watch too much anime to sit here and want to watch a long 300 plus episode anime when there's a whole bunch of other greater anime that exists out there. But Bleach has kept my attention. Bleach has literally hooked me all the way here to the point where I'm at 151. It is good. Bleach is good. If you're somebody that watches anime and you haven't seen Bleach for whatever reason, I'm telling you, and you don't know what to watch, try Bleach out. Don't sleep on it. Don't. Do not. You owe it to yourself. For example, I'll give a great example. There was a point where I hadn't seen Naruto, right? And by the way, before I finish this statement, Naruto, the entire series, not just Naruto or Naruto Shippuden, but also Baruto, the entire series is one of my favorite series of anime of all time. But there was a point where I didn't want to watch it because it was popular. Because it was popular. Literally, I'm not lying. Literally, I didn't want to watch it at one point because everybody knew about it. And my brain at the time, I thought, wow, if everybody knows about it and if it's this popular, then it's, I don't want to watch it, right? I'm going to be a rebel and watch other anime. And the other anime I watched was good. Some of it was, wasn't, but most of it was good, right? But then I finally decided to watch Naruto because one of my friends talked me into it. And the rest is history. The rest is history. Naruto literally has molded key aspects of my life and how I've, I perceive certain things. Okay. Naruto is amazing. Bleach is amazing. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's bad. It's probably popular because it's good. Okay. Bleach has withstood the test of time. Now, yes, there was a long period of time where they weren't making any more episodes, but now they're back. It's back. And again, Bleach only took a break for whatever reason, but it's not like these are just new random episodes. No, Bleach gets its material from the manga that's existed for years. Unless you're watching filler. That's why I don't watch filler. Don't watch filler if you watch anime. Otherwise, it can hurt your enjoyment of the anime. Now, there are some anime that have great filler, but for the majority of anime, and Bleach is one of these inclusions, don't watch the filler. The reason why I say that is because when they create an anime, generally it's pulled from a source material. The source material being the manga, okay? But filler episodes end up getting created because it takes a lot of time to, to you know, create the artwork and animation and things like that. And the voice acting and stuff too for the actual canon episodes. That takes time. So, and the demand is incredibly high. After like the first few canon episodes come out and people really, really, really like it. Like for example, Bleach, the first arc, actually the first two arcs of Bleach, especially the Soul Society arc, they were so good at the time that the, the demand was there. People wanted more, they wanted more, they wanted more. So they have to go and create a whole literal arc of filler to hold people off until they were able to catch up with the actual canon the actual real source material. But the reason why many times filler isn't good is because one, it doesn't have as big as a budget in regards to the animation and art style and stuff like that. And then two, 
it doesn't, it's not being pulled from source material. It's literally being created on the spot by a different writer. That's the reason why. Hang on, my rice is starting to boil now. Or my water's starting to boil. Now I gotta put the rice in there. Woo, I hope this rice tastes good. All right, I got the rice in the pot now. Woo, because the way it works with rice is you have to wash, your, you have to hand, hand wash the rice, right? And I like that process. I like that very personal process. It, it really allows you to be one-to-one -one with the food because it's about to go into your body. Don't you want to make sure the food is as good and clean as it can be before you ingest it, right? I just like the process of it as well. That's why I really also want to learn how to just master this process. Get this process down packed. And you see this wasabi sauce right here? Boop, boop. I can't show it too, too long on the screen because I ain't trying to get copyright. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm so excited for this rice to taste so good. Maybe this first time it might not be good. And if I fail this first time, that's okay. We have plenty of rice in there. I'm going to just try again and try again. No matter how many times it takes, I'm going to try, try, try until I master this process because it's going to be so worth it long term. Rice is an amazing thing to eat while watching anime. You understand that? You understand that? I literally, because I watch a lot of anime, like I said, I'm watching Bleach. I'll literally be able to, before I start my next episode, right? Go in there, make some rice, you know, let it cook for a little bit because it's going to take around like 5th. Okay, so I have it in there on the pot for 15 minutes. And then and I, I follow, I'm trying to follow all these instructions I got online. And that's the, another hard part too. There's so many websites that... Ex, that ex, oh, hang on. All right, the water started to boil over and start to spill out, so I have to take care of that. And it's doing it again, hang on. All right, that was the second time. And there's a high chance this will be a failure, but it's okay. Like I said, lesson learned. I just know now I need to get a bigger pot. We have a bunch of size pots. I literally got the smallest one because I thought I heard it spilling over again, but I literally got the smallest one because there was, that's what I was saying. There were so many different websites trying to explain how to make rice on a pot. But the thing is each one was, was explaining the directions, a different set of directions. So I'm just like, it took, I, I did a lot of research, okay? because I'm trying to figure out what's the most optimal way, right? I took all this data and I'm trying to like narrow through it to try to like hone in on like the way that I deem the best way to be, right? From from those instructions. And then as I, uh, you know, like right now, as I'm starting to mess up over time, I'll adapt and adapt and adapt until I can finally get it right. Do not quit. I want this rice, so I'm going to do what I have to do to get this rice, okay? <laughs> It's gonna taste so good. That finished, that final finished product that I finally get right, it's gonna taste so good, man. Mmm, I cannot wait.